The movie begins on a building site where a successful contractor named Clint enters his office and calls his wife Joanna. He informs his wife that he is unhappy because she is leaving for the weekend. He goes home early but his wife appears irritated by this. Joanna who is at home retrieves a package from the mailbox as a dog continues to bark suspiciously in the background. Clint is then seen driving down a road when he gets pulled over. Clint is approached by the local sheriff called Sam. He asks if he would be interested in going fishing with him. Sam then leaves and Clint makes his way home. Joanna tells Clint that she received his message but clearly is not happy seeing him. She has to leave early because she has a doctor's appointment. Clint reveals to Joanna that a buyer made a second offer of $1.5 million to purchase his business, but Clint ultimately opted not to sell. Joanna remarks that it is a lot of money, but Clint tells her that he would have nothing to do. The conversation soon turns into an argument. Unhappy Joanna then leaves home for her appointment. Clint then goes fishing with the sheriff, during which time he shares some of his worries. Meanwhile, it turns out that Joanna and her doctor, Cortland, have been having an affair. The doctor informs her that she will one day own a Beverly Hills clinic with him. He tells her that he has something that when given to a human, they will experience a cardiac arrest. They make a plan to finish off Clint so that they can sell his firm and steal his money. Cortland tells her to put the liquid in Clint's food and ensure he consumes the entire dose. When Joanna returns home, she begins searching her purse for the poison and she finds it open. She puts it in the laundry basket and we see it leaking onto some clothing. When Clint returns home, he finds Joanna preparing dinner for him and informs her he'll be in his workshop for a while. She gets angry from the noise coming from the workshop and remembers about the bottle she concealed earlier. She retrieves the bottle from the garbage and mixes it to the wine. However, Clint unexpectedly appears and brings the two wine glasses to the dining table. Joanna looks on unsure which glass the poison is in. Clint picks up the wine and then invites her to join him in a toast. Sadly, for Clint, he consumes the wine with the liquid in it and begins to have a cardiac arrest. The spouse collapses to the floor in agony and pleads for help to Joanna, but she doesn't do anything and wants him terminated. Joanna then contacts Cortland to inform him that the job is complete. Next, Sam the sheriff and Cortland arrive at the residence. Sam is devastated since he did not anticipate that his friend would suffer a heart attack at his age. We then see the poison bottle. Joanna panics when the sheriff nearly steps on it. The sheriff then asks the coroner if an autopsy should be performed, but Cortland states that there is no need. The scene shifts to a refrigerated room containing bodies when suddenly, one of them moves. The following morning, the coroners remove Clint's body from the bag and begin preparing it for the funeral. Cortland informs the funeral home that Joanna wants Clint's funeral to be brief. On the funeral, Joanna approaches the casket to place her flower, the dog starts barking strangely. She then pretends to cry keeping up the pretense. Later, Joanna and Cortland are seen in the bathtub that night drinking and laughing over the murder they just committed. Duke begins to bark frantically in search of his owner. This irritates Joanna who declares that she has had enough and pulls out a rifle to shoot the dog. She holds a gun and uses a gunshot to open the cage door. Suddenly, Duke escapes. She attempts to shoot him but misses. Duke makes his way to the cemetery and locates Clint's grave, and then sits next to it. That is when it is revealed that Clint is still alive. The poison did not work and is beginning to wear off. He feels water dripping onto his face and tries to escape the coffin. In a state of panic, Clint cracks the casket and it begins to fall apart. With all his strength, he manages to get out and climb out of the grave. His dog is overjoyed at seeing him. Covered in mud, he begins to stumble and make his way home. He reaches his front door and slowly approaches the side of the house, that's when he sees his wife kissing Cortland. Clint is shocked by this and realizes this was all part of his wife's plan. He waits until Cortland has left the house and breaks in. He tries walking up the stairs but is very weak and collapses. He decides to sleep and hide in the basement for the night. The next day, Joanna goes to see Clint's attorney, who supplies her with information on key documents Clint holds as well as information about Clint's bank account. She informs the attorney that she is willing to sell the business for $1.5 million and wants the money as soon as possible. Clint finally awakens in the basement and proceeds upstairs. 
He first walks to the kitchen sink to sip some water and then walks over to the refrigerator to grab something to eat. As he is eating, he notices that his wife is returning in the car, so he quickly returns to the basement with a revolver in hand. Still weak, he drops the shells and goes to pick them up. He manages to load the rifle and then goes upstairs to confront his wife. Suddenly, the doorbell rings and it turns out that the sheriff has arrived to check on Joanna. The sheriff proceeds to reminisce about how Clint constructed the house and questions Joanna about the for sale sign in front of the house. She responds that the house seems smaller after Clint's death. Joanna and the sheriff also discuss her selling her business. Cortland then arrives to meet his so-called patient as Sam prepares to leave. Clint realizes that he only has one round loaded after seeing that Cortland is also there. He returns to the basement. We then see Joanna panicking at the questions being asked by the sheriff. She tells him that she wants to leave that night. However, Cortland insists that they should wait as they are very close to getting the money from selling the business. The two then discuss Joanna's pregnancy and her decision to seek an abortion in order to avoid staying with Clint. This infuriates Clint, but then he removes the bullets from his rifle deciding it would be too easy to just shoot them. That evening, after Joanna has fallen asleep, Clint starts cleaning himself up and applies bandages to his wounds. The next day, the solicitor arrives with a cash-filled briefcase as the sale of the business has been completed. Joanna appears stunned at the quantity of money in her possession and after the men leave, she is ecstatic at the thought of spending all that money. Meanwhile, the sheriff rushes to Clint's grave, where he finds that it has been dug up and the body is missing. The sheriff directs that the casket be delivered to his residence and that all information be kept secret until he completes his inquiry. Returning at Clint's residence, while Joanna is beaming over a million dollars, she is horrified to discover that the toilet is a complete mess. She then contacts Cortland, but he does not answer, so she leaves a voicemail telling him that someone may be inside the house. Joanna scared witless, goes to the basement to get a firearm. Suddenly, she sees Duke who begins to bark at her while she slowly retreats. She manages to get the gun but all of a sudden, client appears in a mask and locks her in the basement and boards up the windows just before she is about to shoot the dog. Next, we see Cortland preparing some more poison. He then checks his messages and learns that his landlord is coming to evict him because he has not paid rent for the last six months. As Cortland arrives at Joanna's, he removes the syringe containing the poison while calling out to her. He goes up to her room and discovers the cash briefcase. Meanwhile, Joanna finally awakens and hears Cortland constantly calling for her. Joanna hides under the stairs, assuming that he was the one who scared her previously. She then strikes him with a metal rod, causing him to drop the injection. Joanna grabs the case and begins to go up the stairs, but Clint appears and closes the door. Next, we see Clint bringing wood into the home as Cortland regains consciousness. Joanna apologizes for hitting him and informs him that someone has locked them in the basement. Cortland tries to flee by shooting at the locked door but discovers that the bullets are not real. When he then attempts to bust open a wooden window, Duke barks through it forcing him to retreat. Upstairs, Clint continues to saw into the walls and destroys a photograph of himself and his wife. When Joanna wakes up the next morning, Cortland informs her that they had been stranded there for hours. He also assumes that the man keeping the captive is the sheriff who also wants the money. Next. We see Joanna who discovers the poison injection beneath the drawer. She realizes that it was Cortland who brought it there. She asks Cortland that if he really loves her, he should burn all the money. Cortland refuses and that's when Joanna confronts him about the injection. He tells that she has gone mad and she realizes that he was only after the money. They get into a struggle and just when Cortland is about to inject her, the door to the basement opens. They decide to go upstairs only to discover that the entire house has been reconstructed. They attempt to find a way through but are stuck in some kind of maze. Meanwhile, Sam the sheriff can't stop thinking about his friend's case. He attempts to re-examine the coffin and realizes that someone escaped. We then see Joanna and Cortland arguing about what they have done, suddenly a wall appears between them which freaks them out. Cortland sees a figure at the end of the room and thinking it is Sam, he tries to bribe him with the money. Suddenly, Clint reveals himself and due to the shock, Cortland falls over the briefcase and lands on the syringe full of poison. Next, we see Joanna who is stuck between Clint and a small hatch. 
She crawls through the hatchway along a low passage until she reaches a dead end. Clint then quickly shuts her in. That's when Clint finally reveals himself to her and she can't believe her eyes. He asks her about the gender of their aborted baby as she lies there in shock. He then places the deceased Cortland and the money inside with her and secures it with nails. That's when it is revealed that it is actually a coffin. He then continues to pour gasoline around and uses a flare to light his house ablaze. He places his things on his truck and takes along his faithful dog. Sam then arrives at the house, after the fire finally goes out. The investigation shows that no bodies were found inside. We then see Sam who goes to the cemetery, there he sees someone and soon realizes that it is his friend Clint. He tells him to get out of there immediately and he never wants to see him ever again. Clint is then seen leaving in his truck. In the final scene, it is revealed that Joanna and Cortland have been buried alive in the grave, she is hopelessly seen screaming out for help and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.